close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for true happiness. Happiness is harmless, a happiness that's solid and reliable. And because true happiness comes from within, your true happiness doesn't take anything away from anyone else's, which is why this can be an unlimited attitude, which means that you can extend it to everybody and there's no conflict. Just tell yourself, may I understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. Because you realize that happiness doesn't just come floating by. It comes from your actions. And so what kind of actions are you going to do that will make you happy in a way that's harmless? Well, there's generosity, there's virtue, and then there's meditation. These three things, as the Buddha said, are other words for happiness. We may think of happiness in other areas, but it's not nearly as solid and reliable as the happiness that comes from being generous, being virtuous, and meditating. Other forms of happiness, when you think back on them, there's always a sense, well, they're gone now. You may want them back, but who knows when they're going to come back. And maybe you did something unskillful in order to gain those forms of pleasure. So the memory of that kind of happiness is not always a, a happy thing. Whereas when you think back on the times when you were generous, and the times when you were able to abstain from harming yourself or harming others, we were able to get the mind to settle down. That memory is a good memory. It's a happy memory. And then you extend the same thought to others. May they understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them as well. This means you're not saying, may they be happy whatever they're doing. If people are doing unskillful things, may they come to their senses, realize that they're causing harm for themselves as well as for others, and voluntarily stop. If there's anything you can do to help people in that direction, you're happy to do it. This is the foundation or the frame for our practice. Then bring your mind to the breath coming in and going out. Notice where you feel it as it comes in, notice where you feel it as it goes out, and try to stay right there. You can ask yourself, is the breath comfortable? Because the mind is not going to stay unless it can take an interest in something. So one interesting thing might be, what kind of breathing does your body need right now? Because of all the properties of the body, the in and out breath is the one that you can adjust. You can breathe in certain ways when you're tired to relieve being tired. When you're feeling tense, you can use the breath to dissolve the tension. When you're feeling nervous, you can calm your nerves. The breath can be adjusted in all kinds of ways. So take an interest in it. Make it your friend. After all, it is the force of life. It only stands to reason that if the force of life feels good inside, then it's going to be good for you. If it doesn't feel good, something's wrong. You want to look into it. Nobody's forcing you to breathe in an uncomfortable way. And they haven't privatized your breath yet. So take advantage of this free medicine right here. And you're going to stay in touch with this. Later in the morning we'll be going doing a longer period of meditation. But for right now, try to get in touch with what feels good inside as you breathe in, as you breathe out. And see how long you can stay there. This requires mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, alertness, the ability to notice what you're doing while you're doing it, and then ardency. You want to do this well, because you're training the mind. The mind is the most important thing in your life, because it's what determines your actions, and your actions are going to determine whether you find happiness or don't find happiness. So you've got to make sure your mind is in good shape. So take some time out from your other activities, your other responsibilities, and look after this responsibility inside, because no one else can do this for you. And it doesn't get easier as you get older. So do it now. <laughs>